One dose solves any problem. Too random. Ah, right, these are all new. Perfect. Which one do you want, guys? Hit me in chat. DK. Because we've already played Warrior Rogue today. Make it the most different. Love DKs. Let's DK it up. Ooh. Nameless one. I love nameless one. Might have a solid. Zanesh sucks. Uh, partner in crime. Claw machine is interesting, right? Right? Is it better than Mermy? Interesting. Right now, Claw machine is amazing with partner, but sucks with nameless. But Claw is solid. You think Mermy? Tell. Does help with early game tempo, right? It helps a lot with the mage locations. Tough call, I feel though, because Claw is a better card. Claw Machine Nameless is a waste, right? Sigma, I do Diero Yeska. Mm. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for the raid, man. Let's get a shout out. Top arena player right here. Great streamer. Getting a shout out there. Make sure you're dropping him a follow, guys, as well. Start over. How was your stream, man? I hope you had a good time. And I hope you're loving this meta. Slash. Uh, waiting for the next one soon. Kusabik, CN. Gandalf, Pushkin. Yures. It's going all right, man. I'm excited for the new expansion. I'm glad we have some new cards to win with or lose to for a couple of weeks, even though I'm still not the biggest fan of duo class. Things to tie us a little over. Thank you so much for the raid, man. Legend. Let's take Mermy here. The Hematurge for sure. I'll take Remorseless. Cycle and AoE, I think, is pretty darn good. Mmm, this is such a tough one, guys. Who thinks I should take Cold Lights here over Shuffle Fist? Who, who thinks? Hey, Monk, thank you for the good luck. Murloc Synergy. I will go for it. Whoops! Oh no, my my! <laughs> oh, holy crap! Uh, you you baited me, game. My hand at the slip. Uh, uh. All right, now now seriously though, seriously though, I might skip malignant. Hundred percent. Now seriously though. Nice diet. Stream was good, several decent runs. Top notch. Soon we'll be flying our starships in Hearthstone. I mean, this is solid for curve, right? This is solid for corpses. Because right now I'm so heavy on fours and so low on corpses, right? That's that's the thing I'm thinking about. I have no idea. Oh, I hope so. I guess we take a spoiling for curve. Am I actually taking Blood Boil? Yeah, I hope so, worried. Maybe I take Blood Boil now, right? Punishable by what? Meeting Elmo for a curry? No, MSG noodles now. Sorry, upgraded. Dude. I'm too heavy on fours, Tamir. 
Like, surely it's not Corpse Bride though, right? Morning, Subliminal. I'm, I feel like I have too many Corpse users. I think his mistake sucks, right? Alright. I feel like this deck is not being what I want it to be. At least I have the hero part. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Do I want a no mantra over Neophyte? Because Neophyte is pretty solid nowadays, right? Um, but this is heal. Well, they're only bro- like, Corpse Sprite with no corpses and Malignant with no corpses aren't exactly broken. Neo is even less- well, I, I could play it on three without corpses. I'll take Gnome. Gnome is good enough. Guess we take Crystal Broker. You ever take Nazmani? Hmm. Like, Nazmani is great for Curve, but Remorseless is like 50 times better. I mean, Nazmani is a solid card, and I really need Curve. I do already have double AoE. I think I want better threes. Outsy deckhand. Uh, I could take insight. Yeah, but right now, my deck looks really bad in my opinion. What am I going to do? Tempo Hematurge into Hero Power Turn 3, Tempo Malignant on 4? One, you take Southsea there, really? Interesting. I love Sethic, but Harbinger is just way better. Crab Rider. Skeletal. I mean, Reveler is awesome, but. No, the bug is with the card private eye itself. Hey. Okay. Centivize hero power. Now, this is tough. I personally think that Night Elf Huntress is insanely good right now. Like, insanely good. That being said, Peasant fits the deck so much more. You like Reverend? It's alright. But it doesn't fit this deck so well. And Peasant is a very good too as well. I, I think I, I I think I just have to fix the deck. Like uh, I just have to. Same thing here. I just have to fix the deck. We'll take ascendant. Interesting. How good is wand maker in priest? Flash heal. Holy smite. Really good. Lighted burn. Howling is very good too. Renew as well. Okay. Harry Potter, good call. No, Draconic isn't in. Studies are Scholomance. Who wants. Um, uh, who thinks I go mad bummer here? I feel like I want the minion more than the draw man. Just which minion do I take? Flame sounds good. I have a lot of twos that are getting value traded, right? Wand Maker, Ascendant, Peasant, um, Crab Rider and stuff. The thing is Blood Sail though. I need to fix my curve. Darn. 
around it. Am I ever really going one maker over a partner in crime? Why not the drawer? Because right now I just need to help by having minions, right? Real. Like I want corpses for my malignants and stuff like that. I actually don't really like that card so much. You think so? There's just so few cards that are uh, corrupting it, right? No, it's corrupt. It's corrupt. Wait, 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 what, what, what card was I, wasn't I offered this card? Oh, the 5-5. Five five. Oh, I thought you guys are talking about insight. Because that's what Uncovering said, the draw, right? But I skipped insight. The 5-5 five five made sense. Sorry, sorry, there's two conversations, so I got confused. I think I could have afforded the 5-5 five five potentially. I don't like Insight so much as a card. Insight is a card which sucks unless you corrupt it, and if it's corrupted, it's moot. Right? It's not like I'm cheating out anything. Rewarded? I think I go Baron even. Interesting. Yeah, Cathedral, just... that's it. Might actually be clear conscience, right? It's great on partner, on malignant... On freaking anything, really. Just the two? Or menace for corpses. Already two, Irid. Already two. You ever take the four for corpses here? Like, it's not like these are premium, right? I don't need draw anymore. So it's Neophyte over Horde there. Neophyte and Menace is what I'm thinking about. And honestly, it may just be Menace. It's not like Neophyte is changing my game enough compared to how much corpses that can give me. Fairground Flow is a very good card. Where's my identity thefts? Brother, what? It's okay. We have all the other good cards. Um, well then. I could do with a little more uh, consistency, but card quality is up there. Retire? Why is this a DK with a funny poetry? It doesn't even have more... I think it has more priest cards, no? Is that my first deck? Priest DK? Started at 02, didn't play for two days, now 9. Draft started mediocre. Draft started a lot of high quality cards! How do I... Um, but a lot of... Uh, a lack of cohesiveness. Which I think is something important that a lot of people usually forget. Um, but uh, the rest of the draft did help a lot with cohesion. Even there for the criminal... Oh, criminal lineup is in as well. Priest cards are quite generic. 
mean, I have double partner in crime, double shadow ascendant, clear conscience, location, fairground, full, my legendary is a priest guide. Yeah, but they, they were high quality, right? Yeah, probably. I mean, it depends whether they double trade, right? Hey, well, we'll see. I hope they go face. I think I hear it, yes. Mirror is in. Mm. Man. Hmm. I almost want grave digging. It's like, I saw Mary would be good versus like grand finales and stuff, but if I can stay ahead, I've got Blood Boy, Asphyxiate, right? Probably even just Remorseless here, honestly, and then partner in crime next turn. Yeah, contingency. I like cycling to hit my non-corpse generators, because right now it's um, corpse user, corpse user, reactivity, reactivity, hematurge. And then this, right? Like trying to hit these cards. I do, I do have this. Just trying to hit these cards for the location just felt like where I wanted to be. But maybe the contingency was well worth it. You get the goods. I'll stand watch. Ah, uh, maybe the contingency was well worth. Ooh! Is this written asphyxiate? That's interesting. By asphyxiate, I could what? Hematurge, spoiling, trade into the other thing. I hope Sire likes light. No, it feels like it kind of paid off. Yeah, but the reason I don't want to play it yet, Duck Knock, is because I'll be equally sad if they hit me back into this. Now the question is, which one? We'll see if I have the corpses. We do, so we go Malignant.
now we can taunt and psych it. Good synergy. <laughs> More like unfair BS. GG, go next. Alright, yes, let's go. Oh my god, yes, look what you almost made me do, dude. I have to double trade. So rude? Dude, it's your fault, man! What are you talking about? So rude. The citadel stands strong! I'm gonna burn a card. Uh, I mean, I guess I could have played double four. Well, now I wish I had Soul Mirror instead of Drew. But then if I didn't draw, I wouldn't have had this combo, right? Mm, I don't know. Traded the one that doesn't replicate first. Why? What method? What is my They both replicate me. Because I'm trading with both, so what what difference to me? Oh you just don't trade at all, you mean? Ah. Gotcha. I'm almost tempted to just trade them off. Hit hit hero power, muncher face. At this point they do steal coin. I mean... They steal from the other one. It's just I miss four, but uh, if I'm playing Muncher, Muncher pushes five, right? So I don't really miss that much damage doing this. Don't Let's uh, make them a spoiling. Makales. Mis cojones. I'm no tad. I think you have to be as skillful as me there to take that win, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can smile, but I can skillometer. <laughs> what less do you think are boring? None. Or rather, maybe all of them. Because the meta is uh, really not it. I usually prefer the top classes a little less. 
I will. Power for the taking. The citadel stands strong. I don't care. Right, uh, like a lot of people have this idea that um, they prefer one more than another. For me personally, what I prefer is playing different things all the time. You like a challenge then, or what is it? This, right? Since I'm facing this deck 700 out of 701 times, I want to see something different. And I do also like a challenge, yes. It's not that I don't want to play these decks, I just don't want to spam them. It gets boring for me. I haven't played this yet, so I'll play it, but... I, I just... I, 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 I can't, I can't... Do this for eight hours in a row. First of all, I start throwing more because my brain will just stop, refuse to care. Like, a lot of people like playing the top classes because they feel like it's easier to win, that they have more contingency, they want rewards, they want gold, etc. Me, personally, I care about literally none of those things. So, although I don't mind playing this deck, and if I was playing only one run ever, I'd probably rather play this deck. But if I'm playing 600 runs, I don't want to play this deck 600 times. Like, no. Give give me some poop warlock demon hunter over this deck again, you know what I mean? Got an average three losses in my last five arenas after update. Wait, that's 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 normal, you know, Eti? Cards are good in Warrior. Basically in all classes, all Nathria and March of the Lich King cards is what you're looking for. Uh, that being said, nothing compares to these Death Knight or Priest cards. But yeah, there's uh, Anima Extractor. This is probably one that's really good. Imbued Axe. Uh, I would say Warrior and Rogue are probably... I mean, Warlock is just in a really bad spot, I think. Warrior has some nice pieces. So I could have, like, tried to tempo the 5 or the 4, but we'll do this. More like a spook, yeah. I want to try it though. We can make it work. I remember when everyone thought Warlock was a last place class, I was like mashing out twelves with it. Priest Lajira. Probably just want to set up for the malignant conscious, so what am I doing now? Probably this into vengeful rather than the one one. What am I doing? Do you ever clear conscience now? Which class requires the most skill? Oh, if classes require skill. But uh, the worse your deck is the more you have to be very good at understanding how to build your deck and play it in order to squeeze out probably less wins anyway. I don't even know whether I want to do this. I feel like if they're going to do nothing, I'm just going to win anyway. Heck, there, was, there might even be a world where I blood boil, but... I could malignant and then throw this into... It just could be explosive or counter objection, right? But was it worth throwing in the malignant there? Maybe. Maybe I just throw it out. Let them counter it or whatever. If they're doing nothing though, I probably win. But they have to reach a position where they need to do something. 
they probably have a couple of removers and they're trying to understand whether it's worth using them or whether it's worth killing a couple of these minions and leaving their larger removal for the next turn. Maybe I was, Talia. I'm thinking I maybe should have. Because now my next turn is awkward anyway. about the jelly. How to turn tables. Yeah, that's the card I was talking about being very good. I, I knew they were going to have a big swing, right? Um, Because that, that turn involved them getting a secret. um, Dealing two AoE and developing a minion and cheating out a couple of spells that they've paid mana for in the previous turn. So that was basically the outcome of them skipping early and there's the prince side as well. I guess I blood boil and pass. Or is the malignant still better? So what I could have done differently this this game is play the malignant earlier, right? The one turn early. I would have had a malignant on board. That would have been a two-two over there. Would have eaten up some of my corpses, but this would have cleared board and given me the two-two which resummons. Probably let me be a little more ahead on board, clean up a little more of the burden. now, right? Hmm. Yeah, conscience and token. That's so not worth it. Why don't let them take this trade that also kills their tutu rather than use your way of buffing the malignant, which is huge, right? Also, it dies and also... You... So it's not like I can do anything else with it. If it lets me also play malignant, sure, but it's literally just using up this instead of anything else in my hand and not letting me get any tempo from it, right? It's all about killing the poison as much as getting the best turn. 
and all of the turns basically all they do is kill the poison well maybe but not with this poison right hey that's why I tested with Ascendant, so that if it wasn't Ambush, I would still go Malignant Clear later. Probably still prefer it on Malignant though. But I might do something like Remorseless, that's why I pre-hit it with the Hero Power. I might do Remorseless Corpse Sprite though. Darn. are so toxic. I might asphyxiate just for secret testing. And if it doesn't trigger, then what? I guess I'd rather throw this in, right? What if it's Vengeful's Vengeful trigger? It does, right? Ah. I Yeah, I'll go Hero Power to test for Vengeful Visage there, and Ice Barrier. And then I'm gonna risk Explosive versus Objection. Um... Because at least if it's Explosive here, I get a 10-10, whereas with this I just get 2-2 two -two ones that use up my corpses. Yeah, it's rigged. Which means it's fine. Uh, if they don't take damage on their turn... Uh, if they don't take damage, what does it say? If you didn't take any damage during your opponent's turn, draw three cards. Gosh darn it, am I scared of dying now? Maybe enough to do this. They shouldn't be able to kill this directly. Sure, my Malignant gets worse, but still have Cathedral as a way of buffing it. And Malignant by itself is still solid. Hey, Zeldors. How you doing, man? You are right. I haven't seen you around in a little bit, so I hope you're doing all right, man. Yeah, good. Sweet stuff. Always lovely to hear. I think we're remorseless so the 5-3 goes face, especially with that draw. My blood for the Lich King. Or there, Kikurito Dabrito. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I think this game is over, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Correct. Unless they have the taunt thing. 2 damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. GG. Yay. 
give me that sweet gold. Nine more damage for the last quest. Stingray. Smooth jazz. Yeah, very sexy songs today. Must be because someone came in with their uh, three years, huh? They do, Zelda. And also some constructed exclusive event quests. Conjure's coin is used on enemy menu. Will it create two minions for them? Yes. I could coin twos. I want to go three into four for sure. I think we would. Yeah, now there's the event ones, the events. Um, uh, and uh, sometimes they do it like the daily quests are in every mode, but the main quest that gives you the most XP is do X in constructed. I wish it was Swedish or Danish. What's your guess, Cable? Do you ever use it? Like no, just face face hold it. Shatter their bones. Yeah, Tad knows what I sound like off stream. I had like a Swedish or Danish accent. I've become a little more self-conscious of my voice after so many people told me it sucks, but uh, can't really do anything about it, right? Now I'm originally from Malta, man. I live in England now. power this not so much just double two maybe get some corpses for maligna no wait wait radio voice is a good thing mate <laughs> i think you mean face for radio right mr kny <laughs> blood tap is also quite good Still prefer this. this can't be good. <laughs> it is what it is, Mr. Tile. How am I getting the corpse? Is I still want the malignant with the buff right now. You just do something like this. The question is, do you ever double trade? Amazing. These are on flame strike. I made a mistake, I could have a 2-1 on board here. 
Uh, the 2 3 could have gone into the 2 2 and the 2 1 into the 7 5. Um, but this plays around Flame Strike a little bit. Sweet random corpse explosion. Hey, Nero. You don't want me, Saskala. I. Uh, you don't. <laughs> the Citadel stands strong! So maybe we can asphyxiate this. How many times do my opponent hit me with random the grand slams though? Jokes aside. It feels quite constant, not gonna lie. Even worth skeletal here. They could just murder me. And take this trade. Feels better, honestly. Hold that back. Yeah, I feel like I have a, a deep and soothing voice, but obviously I can get a little irritated and make it high pitched. But that usually needs me to put it on a little bit. This feels more like my natural voice. I have an absurd amount. Yeah, right, Tal. And then I discovered Sunwell. That's why, that's why I said, right? There's nothing really I can do about it anyway, cool, right? So it doesn't matter. I'm not sitting here crying, don't you worry. I just had a little more self-conscious. That's not necessarily like um, I hate it more or whatever. I never quite liked it. Um, but that's beside the point. Self-conscious is just more aware, I mean. You know what I mean? Nah, you sound fine, Saskia. Marge Simpson? No, you don't. <laughs> you like my chat voice, though, Nexty? <laughs> Here for a good time. One's out on Okay, so, so far they've got a random demon. Oh, wow. Honestly, this guy's RNG. Can it even get better? So, 
Random the Grand Slam. Right. Random Sunwell. Random Scourge. Random Flight of the Bronze. Random Soul of the Murloc. Random Corpse Explosion. <laughs> what is a nice. Hope prevails. I can't. I can't see a line, guys. Wild seeds are nerfed. All of those get unnerfed when they go to wild Alexander. So wild seeds were unnerfed even the last time they were in, I think. Hey Dealy. Had a guy copying a random card from my deck when I had 18. He's still Yosera, which is the other one who wants him the game. So it's so crazy, right, Kwani, when you get that kind of thing. Oh Lord Almighty. I mean, I was never gonna clear a board, I guess, huh? Sure as heck ain't doing it now. But this is what. Oh Lord, of course! Give me that nameless one! Give me that nameless one! For all that is holy! Yeah, this, this guy, I think, right? You know when people joke around with Iron Gene, they say, mate, you should buy a lottery ticket? This guy shouldn't buy a lottery ticket, because he'll get so lucky, the world will end and he'll win the entire world. I don't even know how that's possible, but that's what will happen, I think, somehow. <laughs> no, nev just trust me, never pick ISO. Just, ever. Good to use, better to wear. Winnable. I mean, I have nameless one blood boil. Oh, well, I really probably need a coffee. And, uh, thanking all my new followers. Is that Gentle Lovin? No, Gentle Voin. Yurek as well from the raid earlier from Daya and Captain Tilly. Thank you. Another high roll spent into a high roll six drop. No worries. These malignant. No, I, I will always lose if I do that worry. Each one has two five fours in it. How do I ever win? Oh, also Ray of Breath. Now they have the poison though. Damn this rush as well. They're gonna just refreeze now. So what if I double trade into the Cobra and play Corpse Sprite? Just 
success do us part. It's crazy, dude. Three super high roll spells are the suit. The other reason he's in it. And then the sun will also give them the generation, the removal, the scourge, which they also high rolled, and also the high roll rush to be able to stop the damage. At this point, I'm honestly hoping to copy one of these with Nameless One and then also Blood Boil somehow. And obviously, we'll pop it open. Probably just dead is the thing. And there's my Blood Boil. How does this even work? Shmoly Tal. Smart. I was thinking about forcing them to have to spend 6 mana to play their twin spell card to get through the 10 10, but they had other ways. Well, yeah, I could have spent most of my time, right, dealing with cards and not going face and then also not killing any of the other minions. So, all of you are looking at the fact that I could have killed their malignant. Okay, and then how do I win? How do I deal with their ghouls and their ghouls re-popping off and other cards and the rest of their cards and the rest of their hand? How am I pushing the damage? If I blood boil... No, nothing happens, right? Like, I'm, I'm fine, no? Never mind. I thought reborn first. Well, they missed lethal anyway. Uh, I think that was the line that Tal said. I had to try to top deck the nameless one. Wasn't it reborn? Isn't it reborn first? I guess not. Something out of third is absolutely hard. I mean, like I said, they also got flash kills, so nothing even ever mattered. But they even had lethal after the fact if they traded the four. They also don't hero power. I was one draw off. Yeah, I need to hit nameless last turn. One, two, three, four, eight. I mean, there's also this is also quite a, a cool. You get the goods. I'll stand watch. You get the goods. I'll stand watch. Oh well, not much you can do in a game like this. Take the win. Don't be there, fancy there, BM me. even be empty I think um, uh, I think we got relatively close in that one I, I, like I said I still disagree with trying to clean up that scourge you just never win in my opinion sure I could have made it easier by managing the ghouls that came out of the malignant horrors but then I don't think I ever win I think deck of lunacy Alexander actually has Space to be solid in the right deck as well. Darn. What is love? Darn. Am I even keeping any of these? Now, this is a tough money. I don't want clear conscience. Probably don't want partner, in which case am I chucking Hema? Hema's so good. 
I think I keep Hima anyway. Might end up hero powering though, we'll see. Interesting. Never hero power into 1 2, maybe. You can't play him on 3, but that's not very good. Yeah, that's true. Do I even want to do it now? Maybe this is better. You don't pick the one, I still prefer the one now, I think. If they value trade, I still trade back. If they heal, I trade here. Hmm. Every opponent I face the deck of lunacy just destroyed me though, Major, like Alexander is saying. I even hit a Convoke that like healed them by 40, filled their board, buffed their entire board, Arbor up on 7. There's um... Like for example today I faced 3 or 4 random the Grand Slams already. Is my Grand Slam the only 10 plus spell? Man, dude, man. <sighs> There's no way I just cathedral here, right? Oh, there's Dimension Ripper. I haven't seen that one yet. You get the goods. I'll stand watch. You get the goods. I'll stand watch. The Druid's box card. Oh, Convoke. Yeah, yeah. You could kill that 3 6. Just takes so much, though, to kill it, Envy. Means I have to Cathedral this and Smite, and my turns become so much more awkward if I do. Darn. Like, again, I want to kill it, but. Is it even worth killing it? charge. I need to actually get this coffee poured. I freaking made a coffee and it's just sitting here. Hey, thanks for the follow, La Bracha. Isn't the Bracha a hug? How appropriate. <clears throat> Okie dokie. I mean, I wonder. It's all so awkward. Someone's coming. I want the corpse. I 
want a malignant next turn, I think. Speaking of the devil, that's like the third or fourth one I faced today, Major. I faced like two or three energy shapers as well. Third one, maybe. I honestly don't think this meta is worse than the previous ones. Or better. <laughs> well, 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 well. Another three year. Man, Brian really needs to amp up his oomph. Thank you so much for the three years, Blazer. Thank you for the tier two, three years, man. That's crazy, man. How are you, Blazer? Thank you so much. I like Nathria, personally, relatively speaking. I just think it is a power outlier set. So it can't be with sets that's in its, in its era. Right? Anytime Nathria... Like, if you put Nathria with perils... Like, we had Nathria in where it was an older set in the rotation, and it kind of becomes relatively moot and has some interesting cards. But, um, it's a super power outlier for the meta. I would, actually, yes, Ojo. Gosh darn it. What am I doing now? Yeah, Petrity, did your opponent play uh, Private Eye? Or did you play Private Eye? What is a loon's will? Come closer. You can trust me. Surely I'm just going face, right? Yeah, so supposedly, Ojo, end of turn effects happen in summon order, but there have been a lot of cases where they're just not being that way, flame stray. Not on your part, because there is a confirmed bug with private type Petrity that's crashing the game and you have to restart the game ASAP to get it to work. Otherwise, it's just a, a typical, not typical, but an annoying DC, I guess, which sucks anyway, but... Oh, maybe they did. If private eyes played, you have to quit the game and restart it. That's the only way to get it fixed. Mm. And Huddle's the mini set, right, Tal? Buff the hero power to kill one of these. I kind of want to slow down their damage here, maybe. Perils, my biggest issue is the fact that uh, it 
mostly based on tourists, which just has does nothing for arena. Wait, what's the order? Um, I'm looking forward to the expansion because it's going to be single class. And uh, also, you know, a fresh rotation and everything, so there's that. No, I didn't. That was a sporting silly Lana. Let's see what else did I miss? I missed some things. Blazer Well, Holiday in May. Does it have anything to do with um, Canadian Thanksgiving Blazer? Clear here, but so be it. Columbus Day. <laughs> Someone told me today is Canadian Thanksgiving, so you guys. Wait, wait, so America has a holiday on Canadian Thanksgiving that has nothing to do with Canadian Thanksgiving? Am I understanding this correctly? Yeah, like for example, for example, by the way, to, to, to the talking about dumb cards and stuff, I think Contraband Stash is a really fun and cool design. Really. But it sucks in dual class. I, I don't want to spoiling. I'm tempted to coin hero power and clear. See if they hero power back get the malignant out. I kind of like that. Yeah, I could go face now, I guess. Sure. Just wanted to stop the 1-1 one -one going into here. If they want to hero power trade, I'm fine. Just helps me get more likely to get the malignant out without this. I have to kill that. Ready to fight for a better future? Hope prevails. Yeah, but it makes for it, it, it it's it, I think it's fine as a design, right, Kenny? A contraband stash. It makes for cool build arounds and work needed to get it to be very strong and it could be dead very often as well. Run as fast as you can. Oh lord, that makes it sound so dark, Blazer. I mean, enjoy your day off irrespective of what it's about, I don't know. Can you raid my deck, can't you? Hello? Well, probably very good. Probably at least 10 wins, I would rate it. Because um, of the language. The thing is, you have double mage location. You get the cool. That's always pretty good. You get the cards. Oh yeah, you've got um, Biggin as well and Deathborn as well. 
It wasn't immediately called it a 10 0 deck, but it looks pretty solid. Good curve. The cards I'm recognizing show that you have a lot of burn and premium stall as well. This can't be good. amazing though all jokes aside pancakes good luck good luck on the full 12 man yeah that's why i was tempted to not play the spoiling tell but maybe something like this i think we're fine here now Dumb, dude. I'm sorry, Chambers. <laughs> that, that turn, though, it was like OP card, OP buff, OP buff, OP buff. Whoops, concedes. It just makes so much difference, right? Like, it's so clear that if you're drafting, um, if you're drafting class, um, class combinations that include priest, death knight, include, they don't even need to be both, right? Include priest, death knight, uh, mage um, those three and then maybe hunter as well the consistency of your average will go up so much really that's crazy Tal. I think I've I think I'm like one per death knight now uh, because I didn't draft it once and I have two now You missed the Huddle Up Tsunami meta. Hey Shadow. They have an insane skill of not buying out liar cards for a long time, but also bringing all back all bad ones back on a whim. Yeah, the thing is, can he? I, I I think we're 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 in a world right now where most of what's happening is just a lack of effort into arena as we get whatever big change is happening, right? Um coming in. Like this rotation is an unbalanced um, older meta, which for anyone who was looking for more balance or less disparity, it doesn't solve it. And for anyone that prefers modern cards, it also removes it. Um, and the decision making process is uh, based on uh, which sets are spooky for Halloween. You get the goods. I'll stand watch. You get the goods. I'll stand watch. So, yeah, I didn't have high expectations for me. I'm just glad we get some fresh stuff to win with and lose to for a couple of weeks until the expansion. I, I've always said this. I, I've said it for many years. And sometimes people find it hard to differentiate between different rotations, but... The biggest issue in Arena, uh, one ticket, which leads to all the other issues like balance and stuff like that, the biggest issue is power disparity. Always. Yeah. 
I could clear conscience. Thing is, what if it's vengeful? Would they play vengeful? I mean, it's random, right? Someone's coming. Someone's coming. Right, because. I was hearing Red speak about it today, he was talking about how balance is not the most important thing for him. I don't think having all the classes be 50% winner or whatever is really that important. I just think that the more power disparity it is, the more only a few decks and a few classes feel playable. Which is bad balance, but... You don't necessarily need to have everything be perfectly balanced either. My blood, what a Probably need this 8. Priest? Priest is a, a top top class Priest right now, I'm sure. Guys. I could hero power, but... Shatter their bones. <laughs> Someone's coming! Hey Gary, yeah it is, I'm uh, not looking forward Gary, it makes me wonder if they messed up by unbanning Kaiser or never banned, still banned Kaiser are preemptively banned. I think it has more to do with when they were banned rather than anything. I think some cards were actually banned and some cards were banned to us, but internally were actually zero offering rate. Right? That's what I think. Can you TLDR the iron power disparity? It's just a comparison blazer of something like Nathria and March of the Lich King with sets that are two to three years older than it. It creates this idea where the classes that have strong cards in those sets are just outliers and drafting the cards from those sets are outliers. So bad classes will have a very hit or miss, do you get cards from those sets? And good classes will be, you're very likely to get a good deck, but do you also still hit cards from those decks? Hmm. I want to psych it. Purpose. Yeah, I know, Gary, I know. And it's also just a high of 20. I, I think, Shadow Dragon, that uh, the whatever big arena changes are coming to, well, arena next year are taking up all the resources. I expect it when they announced it. That's stuff because even if they got power disparity, right? I really just don't like the flow of the game when there's infinite board clears and life gain board your development. Yeah, yeah, you can still not like the modern card design over and above, Tal. But I think one of the core issues is power disparity in Arena, not the only one. They say if they're if they say they're making big changes to a game mode means it's getting monetized more. I don't really see it that way personally. Could be. But uh Zeddy's have Zeddy's one of the lead like news related content creators, right? So, it will do them well to say those things, but I sincerely doubt, like, it would, in this, it would the same thing, Kerg, if you look at the announcement of the big changes coming to Arena, it also came with announcement of the ideology of not making the game 
a pay to access for new players, returning players and existing players and creating new monetization schemes in order to support their idea that for basically TLDR wanting more money, which is to create more um, rooms for the people that want to spend a lot of money, i.e. for example, Rag Portrait, and in order to keep it as accessible as possible for all the people that um, did want to have ease of access, etc. So I don't really see it as being a, well, it's going to be a pay to win thing now, I feel. Um, I do think Arena needs a little push forward, though. I'm in a stage where I'm enjoying streaming, hanging with all of you, chatting, chilling. You guys trade here. I was live gang. Gang gang. Maybe be pushing even more face because they're gonna pop this, right? Yeah, I could smart. The thing is, the, the, the spell damage helps them kill the 4 4 with 3 damage stuff, which Shaman has a lot of. And the 3 2? 3 2 helps them kill the 4 4 very easily as well. Your end is nice. Are they gonna conjure? Is that one? Nameless one would be insane. They are. Oh, Louise, man. Take this trade. They're gonna replay it, but they can't attack with it. Do my bidding. Which means the 4 4 is forced into the 0 1 and then dies. I can't trade here, right? I want to trade into one of these two, though. Oh, with this, you mean? They just drew a frost spell, though. I want to protect it, I think. Creates a world where this needs to happen, probably, and then this dies. But yeah, I guess the buff could end up on the murder. You know what, that's true, Rambo. That was probably the line. No, wait. Yes. No. Maybe? Yes, because it represents four face. Envy. I do. Because it represents four face. Now, knowing they're gonna do this, I could go four, two, and push four instead of two. Uh, 
Yeah, it's kind of close, Envy. Supposedly blood boil full time, but I, I still think I think I want the fairground fool over the muncher I though. Because I uh, well, this has to happen, right? Well, the location by far, Crimson Shack, the four mana two six dragon, mind eater, the one mana one two conjure. Identity theft, it has a lot of generation. Heal in a meta where heal is scarce, draw in a meta where draw is scarce, right? Uh, remove in a meta where removal is scarce and good ones at that. The reason I didn't play Muncher is if Muncher hits a 2 2, the 2 2 hits back, then I'm almost never getting through, whereas this maybe forces. Uh, forces them to full trade, which it did. How important is hero power over crystal broker? Sets me up for two turn lethal, right? What? Yeah, Grom is lethal, but that's like a one in a hundred, no? I mean, the, the thing is, Tal, I think my win con is hero powering them down, right? Like, they can't awaken, they can't play their 3-6. What's up? Thank you for the 13 months, man. Cheers. Rolling taunt and they concede. Watch it. You win this one? Probably. Cathedral is still lethal, is the reason I was fine. Only 24, can he? Like flame strike and kill one, the two one is killing them. And the hero power sets so that I can kill them in two turns. They still can't awaken. They still can't play their 3 6. Yeah, as as Cathedral with my hero power, Tad, right? But I just want to put them on a timer. This should be lethal, right? I could have even got on the hero power. Nameless one, cathedral. Yeah, yeah. I just when they when I know they're at like three or two, I value hero power face because any turn in which they're forced into a really awkward full clear, like they were for a few times, is a turn in which I've reduced the turn counter towards lethal by one. Oh, 
don't know about keeping Malignant in this deck. It just doesn't feel consistent enough. Yeah, it's one of the reasons I like Priest when it's a playable but not OP class. Hell. OP takes that away again. I think this is a meta, or, or rather this set of cards is where Priest is in the strong space, but more because of oppression rather than um, o o overbearingness, which oppression, I mean, wrong, wrong language maybe, but I'm fine if they take this trade. Hubba hubba! <laughs> hubba hubba! <laughs> so here's a question, guys. If I partner in crime and on the same turn nameless one the partner in crime, what happens? Let's see if he watches those. Let's see how good they are at this. Well, it looks like they weren't offered Ascendant or Peasant. Nameless copies itself, but partner doesn't. Are they doing it? Is this guy a dose watcher? The thing is, they just picked a good card now, right? Because my deck is so good. And they should guess. Ugh. I won this. How do I get this, guys? My blood, what a lich king. What a, do you ever take Soul Breaker? need corpses yet, right? Because I have Menace and uh, I don't even have the corpse spenders yet, right? Yeah, Boyd is the better card, but interesting to think about. That's a good... Th this right here is a good um, uh, warrior card. What's this from? Madness! Madness of the Dark Moon Fair Sword Eater! That's crazy. Refreshing. I wanted that. Hey, a blocks. How are you doing, man? Oh, it was added to car as well. This card must have been so crazy in that meta. Uh, that 50-50 probably wins them the game. If I could hero power here and asphyxiate, it's great. Now I can blood boil, but they're going to discard my other blood boil. I could also nameless one, discard a spell for them, but then they value trade and I'm in trouble again. I guess then I can blood boil. Ooh, very nice blocks. It should, can he? But the nameless one should gain it, right? As far as I know, the battle cry adds a uh, the battle cry adds a uh, an enchantment onto the card. Remember when I once 
played partner of crime into kidnap and then went into my hand and I replayed it at summoned two and then they fixed that later. Remorseless lets me hero power instead. That being said, these are so clunky that maybe I should just get it out, right? Glad to have gotten rid of their draw at least. I just would have loved to have Nameless one, you know? Instead of playing a 4 4 into a 4 6. What did you call me? What did you call me? Yo, what now? Hey, Ankara Bihar. Hey, Zinni man, good to see you, dude. Okay, we got a five head this. Ooh, they're Death Knight ones. I think I just take Frostmourne. Even though they probably don't want me to have Frostmourne and therefore don't take Frostmourne. I just can't afford them to have Frostmourne and me not. Whereas I don't care if they have these two. Welcome aboard. Well, well, well. Do I even want to thrust more in though? Because this thing is dead by itself, right? I don't think I even do. Not yet, anyway. I'm just doing this for a draw. I know they can kill it with their weapon. Are there class with one weapon in this meta? No idea. Maybe? I guess I could have even buffed this instead of this. They're going for the draw. Okie dokes. Mm, is it Tal? Like Rindlings and Hope. Yeah, because they're a Death Knight, right, Zinni? Uh, do you ever double Remorse? And maybe even purposely kill this up? Just boy, no, but then they can just take the four seven, right? Hmm. They're just gonna kill them all off. It's not like they're gonna leave them all alive, right, Shadow? They just trade them all. So boy doesn't do anything. Boy is just healing me for four and doing nothing else. The question is this. I think I kill this up. Try something like this. I feel like there is more hunter weapons, but I don't know. Isn't Harpoon Gun? No, Harpoon Gun's Sunken City. It's fine as long as they don't get it back, right? I could clear conscience this and force them into something. I could start going face with the weapon. Tell 
death do us part. The worse. I mean, I could buff this, but I think I just push the damage. I'm just playing around their Frostmourne right now. We can Frostmourne Ray their hero power or wand. Darn. I mean, surely we draw Malignant or Partner now, right? It's like half my deck. You ever hold the buff? Everyone's greeting the weapon too much? Well, I'm not giving them a, a position for the weapon to be used, right, Shadow? I think it's been correct for them not to swing so far. The more you struggle, the better. Because every turn for me was about not giving them a good weapon, trading off my 4-7 on purpose, playing the 4-7 on the previous turn so they can't trade into my 4, buffing my rush so it has 5 health instead. I'm literally making it awkward for them. Because I also know it has Baron in it right now. Big strike. Is it even worth the partner in crime with the buff? I want a blood boil for sure. What if I like just blood boil and pass, what or just hero power this? Because if I blood boil and hero power this, I take 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16, 20, but I'm at 29. And then next turn, this would be at. Five, it takes two. I could hero power sidekick it and play partner or malignant and buff it. I think that's the line. I can defame a tree, but it also gives them a trade with the two two, which is dying anyway, which is then also healing me for two. And it stops me having a two two later which would be impactful right so now i can swing back right so now i can hero power sidekick this play a four and play one now we choose which four as well. One, two, three, four, five. So now we can check check what's in this. I could smite instead. I could also smite right. Depends what I want an, an even more buffed malignant horror, basically. Watch out for the bomb as well. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Plan. Yeah. 
And now, I've gotten a larger board swing whilst planning the exact heal and clear with the blood boil over two turns with the double hero power skeletal, right? Knowing I'm very likely to hit partner, partner, malignant, malignant, since four out of eight, four out of eight cards were those cards, Life right? They do go for the steal. This is probably worth a steal from me back though. Right. So probably, I guess the corpse. It's one of the extra corpse, which should give me this. Yeah, it's normal, Fiera. Actually, I would say that last meta had so few secrets that it was dumb that we had the secrets. I like when there's a lot of secrets. I just don't like certain specific secrets. Hey, Dreads. Why run the zombie into the dude? To get an extra corpse. Like one of, but then I won't get the malignant eye fruit. Eleven. Yeah. Do your worst. Are you ready for, um, can you imagine, by the way? Can you imagine Dreads telling someone like Crip that you're about to excavate and dig for treasures and launch starships? When they ask you what cool Vampire Survivor style game you're playing, you say Hearthstone Arena. Hey, Hango! Hello, hello, hello. I think they're in order, Gary. I, I was working off of that assumption anyway. Genuinely concerned for what standard arena is going to be like. Throw it in there. See what happens. I don't know. I could coin hero power into Hematurge. That used to be alright. I don't like it. I'd almost rather coin three and then hematurge or top deck another three. Yeah, right, you just coin Baron. Even if I go back and hematurge. Imagine uh, we don't get. Uh, Imagine we don't get the starships in Arena. 
next season? What, what would you say to that? My blood for the late Another meta of no legendaries. Ooh, neophyte though. Matt! Is it ever a neophyte? I feel like I need corpses, right? Yeah, exactly, Tal. Just like tourists, though. Man, is it crazy that I want freaking Neophyte? It is crazy, right? Yeah, Tal. I mean, let me put it this way. Why not? Uh, every patch, I was like, surely they, they can't execute this worse. Surely? Yet, wrong I have been proven. <laughs> So, uh, I don't doubt anymore, you know? I, uh, I don't doubt anymore. I just... Right, like... Might as well. And then we go bong bong. Hey! I was fishing drones, catch any fish and then shoot them in the barrel. You caught many fish already? How do you catch so many fish so quickly, dude? Like, serious question. I guess I partner in crime and hero power. What? You get the goods. You get the goods. Oh man, that's a tough one, Hango. I love Mind Deter, but Frost Strike is pretty good. You can get things like Remorseless and stuff. So it's it's worse than last meta, but the impact of all of the cards is very good, right? Yeah, I've never been fishing, by the way, Johns. Hola, so slow. Honestly, I'll take that. Uh, I think so, Skelly. So I was fishing for mackerel. My rig is like four individual hooks from the squid bay and one big hook. Man, honestly, Jones, you could be speaking Canadian Chinese to me and not still understand just any time. Put a hook in the water and they bite it. Well, okay, I know what fishing is, Johns. That wasn't my point. My 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 point was fishing for mackerel. Okay, I know mackerel is a fish, sure. Four individual hooks with little squid bait on one big hook at the bottom, watching your school swim right by me. Lost, dude. You wanna cast a spell? Starship is minus one board space. No, you don't play the starship, Tal. A starship is just all of your starship pieces combined. So I'm not sure if it takes up board space, but if it does, it takes up one. Right, you can't have multiple starships. 
Okay, you're you're doing this on purpose, John. So you're literally explaining the parts I don't need to be explained. Yes, but it's dormant, so if you ever play one, you lose a slot. Yes, yes, okay, but if you play another piece, well, you don't get another starship. Yeah, <laughs> hey, Jens, you know what this means, Jens? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm happy for you, okay? Happy Canadian Thanksgiving. Dude, am I throwing partner into this? Surely it's not explosive randomly or objection, right? There's no way, right? You get the goods. I'll stand watch. Oh, it isn't. Whew. Amazing. You Thank get you. the goods. I'll stand watch. Ooh, it's draw. Fancy schmancy. Dude, I have some really old clips. I haven't seen Sky in ages. Um, that would be my assumption. Ten? I don't know. <laughs> that would be my assumption. I got mine detail and I got two press strikes. Rewarded, Hanga. Rewarded. I want corpses. How am I getting corpses? Playing Crystal Broker, probably. I got Corpse Bride here. I think I Crystal Broker and Hero Power. Good to use. Better to Good explorer. The wording is mega empty here. I don't know why, probably because I play 600 hours of this game a week, but when I look at something, I feel like I I have an inkling as to how to understand it. Then, yeah, dude. Well, sincerely, Jens, right? <laughs> Maybe tell. Sincerely, Jens. Um, I, I told you this before, right? When I was young, my, my parents never had fish at home or anything like that, so even like fish types and breeds or whatever, I'm not really good with their names and stuff like that. Especially in Maltese. Because finding those words in Maltese is a lot more uncommon in like books or anything like that, right? So when I was young, if someone always said the Maltese word I didn't understand, I would always tell my friends this. It has to be a fish. Dude, have you posted a picture of a mackerel, dude? I know what a ma I don't understand your setup. I don't know what one hook with four hooks on the side is doing and whether missing missing out on uh, a school of fish passing by is a good or a bad thing based on your setup. Fucking heck. I want to kill this. I also want the corpses. How do I get the corpses here? You ever trade, trade, and still asphyxiate? Hmm. Just trade one off in hero power. Like, I could do this, I guess, not to be greedy, right? Oh. 
Replace your deck with an endless portal of demons each turn, they gain an additional 2-2. Two -two. For me that sounds like the deck. But, uh, I don't know. No, so each turn was trigger start of turn usually, right? You are uh, relatively fluent in Maltese Amplex. Versus B O seven T R O N. Possible. I think I want partner, not malignant. Okay, I have that one too. So based on that video, the first ones are not buffed on the same turn. Right? And then next turn they draw buffed one and the ones in their hand are... Are you gonna hover them? No, we never know about their hand ones. Damn, I have to buff this. I don't have to buy. I, I want to kill it, right? Surely. Hmm. I wonder. You ever double trade? They're just gonna ping it. So am I really gonna ignore this for several turns, though? I think I'm, I think I might nameless one it and just go face here. Oh fair Gary. So yeah. Yeah. Deadly. I mean, it shows you that they're not buffed on the first turn, right? Deal three and deadly. You get the goods. Now we pray they don't have double deadly. Ah, uh, but then there's what Gary said that maybe there should be the. Psh the flash if things in hand are getting buffed. I mean, honestly, it looks super strong for Arena. Toxic to the touch. Ooh. Hmm. What are we doing here? Someone's coming. Finding something from Hima, I guess. My blood for the Lich King. It's hoping for a death strike. So what am I doing now? Neophyte. And playing it. Pushing four. Oh yeah, that's like every card. That's why I said that's my assumption, but... I don't like really know. But that's what I would expect. It's the same thing, like the copyright. <laughs> I'm gonna keep bringing that up as an example. I think when when they design, it's about 
first of all, how they feel they need to clarify the most for the given point in time. But secondly, it also depends on the designer's feel for the best clarification. I think I actually hold the cathedral. I do have Grace Mahuto. Yeah, but I would assume that was on purpose, Mark, to avoid people doing cheaty stuff with Phanotum, right? Phanotum is a demon, right? So it would be a zero mana infinite thing every time. You know where the movies Lady and Napoleon Troy are filmed in? Uh, I know Gladiator and Troy. I know Gladiator was from the Malta, and I know Troy had some parts from the Malta. So I'm assuming also Napoleon. Oh, it isn't, Mark. Hmm. Probably asphyxiate. What is a loon's will? And like all out. We're so close. What in Malta? I knew that Gladiator was filmed there. I remember when I was young, people talking about it, Exito. I think, Zinni, it's about making it as clear as they think they can for like the least wording or whatever. But by not having 50 lines of text on each card, it also leaves room for some interpretation, right? What's the first ish? I want a 6-6. Six, six. Joseph Cuffy. How do I win this game? How do I win this game? I wonder. How does Concoction Pace win me the game? Set up no. I could always do that on the same turn, no, Irid. So I might as well do everything else and then. Holy gosh, darn, that's strong. Oh my god, frozen patch. We were so close. Lethal, how? How do you, how? Oh, uh, no. Wait, wait, no. Yes, yes, no. Yes. Hmm. Hit here. No. No. Good to use. My past cannot shame me forever. I also don't want to run the mantra into this. Yeah, but if I concoction the skelly. Then the muncher hits the high main. You're not laughing. Run for help. Kill that you 
And they're always gonna have a dumb skelly now for like seven turns. Holy crap. Board luck yourself. Let's go. I have double remorse, less Rambo. Yeah. The thing is now I'm trying to create a clear board. So now they're gonna have these golems as well, right? They have another frozen touch though, right? No. Oh, they're gonna use it? Okay, at least they use up their frozen touch. Ah. Uh, wow, they do it for one. They were doing it for the armor then, huh? Okay, remorseless, remorseless, remorseless. Most likely draw. Please note. So lucky. Yes, I only needed it for 700 turns. <laughs> it might have been lucky if I drew it 17 turns ago. Do I have to keep pretending to baby rage, or can I come back? Yeah. I actually grew that way, hey? See, when I was very young, um, uh, my parents dropped me on my head, and that's why I'm so smart nowadays. Or at least I think I am. Hello, Obi Shinobi. That's the aim, Gary. That way I can stream twice on two separate PCs at the same time. <laughs> you mean three headed, Gary? Games are going all right, Obi. Games are going all right, man. Interesting. Armor left? Double face? You also just like hero power sidekick this. That's why you watch? Yes. It all works. Right, what do I have to draw now? Something that helps me kill them. How do they... This crab rider is gonna solo, right? Heck, maybe I asphyxiate here as well. Sidekick, push 369. Try to end it with no muncher. Hmm... Well, maybe I Ascendant now instead, but Asphyxiate anyway. What I could do, though, is Hero Power. 
and sidekick for the kill and just play Ascendant. Maybe that's better. They concede? This game really shows you how skilled I am. That's why, that's why you call me the DOC. Yeah. Great, just before they concede. To you. Man, can he's BM? BM is on point, huh? Don't let the door hit you. Ooh! Actually pretty darn good. Oh, it also costs two more. I didn't know that. Good morning, Giggle. What did they just top deck? Top deck Vendetta! Look at them go! Actually pretty darn good. Wow. Oh, they discovered it from Hench Clan Burglar. Darn. Now what do I do? What is in Yun's mind? You fell right into my trap. I know I knew it could be that, but whatever I play is just rough. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Now we lose. You get the goods. I'll stand watch. Yeah, yeah. You get the goods. I'll stand watch. Cathedral would go hard. I mean, honestly, we almost killed them just with our freaking crab right there. We haven't even really hit the. Well, now we hit partner, but double malignant, double partner, double remorseless cathedral, right? Hema Harbinger. I intend to deceive. Wow. Please note that for the last four turns, they've played just their top deck. <laughs> I mean, kudos. They know what they're doing. They hold back their miscreant. Hey, thanks for the 15, Jade Red. Thank you, man. Could be bamboozled. It doesn't line up with you this year, but we have a PD day so I can actually watch. Oh, happy Canadian Thanksgiving then. Yeah, it could be a sticky situation, but for the most part, Giggle, I think they're gonna draw, which is why I'm trying to not give them the draw for a second. Hey, KFK! Oh, congrats on the 12, Devitor! Priest Pally! Very nice. Very nice early game in that one. I try to clear. I think we just do this, right? Hmm. No, there's Hunter. 
after all of those commas, then you can tri triple copy paste those commas and add others. What did they just get here? Another Firelands? Yeah, thanks again, Jadred. Don't you worry about your uh, lunch thing, but there we go. Have not played Magus Metal, why is Priest so strong? I've just got some good cards back in for it, going for it. Uh, Jadred, it's back to that time when Priest was quite strong. Um, basically, it's got Psychic Conjure, Mind Eater, the location, which is super premium with Draw Partner in Crime, the format 2 6 Dragon. It's got a lot of. Um, uh, it's got a lot of Generation, Cycle, and Steel, and Heal and Removal, and Meta's where they're all a little lacking. Yeah, this is when everybody remembers. The, I think this is the last meta, or, or rather, I think the one right after March of the Lich King, maybe. Uh, was the meta when uh, people hated Priest the most. <clears throat> Seems to be odd one out in the pack, really? Opponent is furious. I mean, I think they have to remember, Giga, that on turn three they top decked like five cards in a row, which meant that they didn't die. And then on turn eight, they had swung the turn the game round, but uh, then those pulled through. Threaten Wingate. You will regret. Is a vacation a decent top deck? No, the, the last time we had this though, Yas was literally two years ago. Well, yeah. I, I didn't tell you the priest was never broken. But I, I don't know if it was the conversation I was having with you, but I was having a conversation with someone where there's this ideology that priest is always full control, full full toxic no matter what, yada yada. I, I don't think so. I don't I don't know, maybe, maybe he did. They were all generation or burn, right? Actually. I think he was trying to find a secret. Is this Ibrahimovic? Any? Sure, right? Remember, we should also make a list, apart from the list of people I look like, we should make a list of people I've beaten in Heights. So we beat Drake last time, right? I assume they choose Nitro Boost. They don't want me to have it. Let's coin then. The yeah, I beat Jay. We beat Michael Jordan as well, right? Well, you're my favorite Eggy Egg Girl, okay? Hey, good to see you, man. You doing all right, brother? I don't know. I didn't see that, Lana.
Curse you and you. What else would I? What, what, what else? Come on. Curse you and you. This thing family? Ooh, have fun. I like beating characters from books I have read. Because you know that's where they got the character name from, right? So obviously they share an interest in a way. Man, that double deadly. I mean, come on, Zlatan. Like, look at this. Crazy, dude. Yeah, but I'm doing all right, Eggy. Sincerely, in the end, it's so all right. It's so all good. You get the goods. I'll stand watch. I'm a little annoyed at Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Okay, because uh, we're we're an Ankara Messi stream here. Okay. So who rolls double deadly and destroys all of my lead? Dymo. We have the hero power here, right? We don't have to, but... My blood for the Lich King. Gosh darn it, man. What if I go Bloodworm into Malignant, into Malignant Clear Conscience and hope that they don't have an answer? Very unlikely, right? Because they're just going to value trade these away. They have all the ones. I almost hope that they like trade, trade, trade. Maybe I hear a power now instead. 64, it's 5 too low. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, they stole it for you, Crisp. You're seven too low now. Shaping up nicely. Oof! That's five spells, oh lord almighty. It's most of their hand. Bone spike cost two. So this energy shaper is three more. This is a five cost spell, it costs two, a five cost spell, it costs two, and I have no idea about these. That's a start. Okay, we just do it again, right? That was the entire plan. Okay. But now they can't target them with spells. If I remember correctly, their serrated bones by cost two. So this means the other boss wisdom card cost two. Please win, please win, come on. Two of my cards, come on. No! 
mother of pearl dudes, really? Ooh, 86. Yeah, he had the tease, can he? Darn, darn energy shape. This is Zlatan Ibrahimovic, man. Deck of Chaos. Okay, that's the other card we knew about, essentially. Damn, look at all the love from chat today, huh? These are some high numbers. Bow down. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, you win this time. My cargo, my business. Man, when you're a legend and uh, in multiple sports, because yes, Hearthstone Arena is a sport, you gotta give it to them, man. Some people are amazing. Some people are amazing. I am, I'm honored. Honored to uh, to be facing uh, Ibrahimovic. I think their double deadly roll from the uh, potion belt was what gave it to them. Honestly, though, like crazy. And now the triple secret with the Apexis. Like what they needed was more generation. Kidnap test. So it could be bamboozle. So this becomes an 8 8 or a 12 12. There's also shadow clone. Plagiarize isn't in. Not Pager, um, the other thing. I was hoping to get this up to a point where it becomes an 8 8 or a 12 12, and I can light it, burns it. I 
I mean... <laughs> I mean... Ibrahimovic, you win this time. Wow. Maybe it doesn't save all the replays forever. The Lich King. will serve me in death. Elune, give me strength. Whatever. Um, I right, we're back. What would I miss? Oh. I wasn't looking at Sander. Nine is good, Mirana. Nine is good. What you say are the best classes? Death Knight, Mage, Priest. Job's done. Tomorrow, twelves. Ah, uh, yes. But, Heart Arena is a seven day data KFK. Yeah, thanks to Tal, I updated it. Um, so it's still gonna include last meta stuff. <laughs> Maybe for funsies, Prehusius. You can get value from it, but you also need to make sure you have draw. Yeah, I won't update it for a few more days now, Tal, because Imgur was effing up. It's not even letting me replace the image anymore. Last time I had to add a new image, and this time I just had decided to make a completely new link. Yeah, Rogue is not good. AFK. Surely we take the kill right now. It's done its job. Give this rolling. <laughs> I won't bother, Gary. <laughs> I think other people have it though, right? Ooh, they go for the witchy? Yo! Oh, resizing. Depends when you really need it, I would say, maybe. Hmm, interesting. I don't know what to do here. Weapon? Probably infinite taunts since I'm ahead. I don't know whether to use this to help me, right? Like, I, I could buff this and still take this trade. Okay. Like, Mirana, if, you, if you're going to skip turn 7, for example, with Pouch in hand, you just play it for a 6, right? Otherwise, you can leave it as late as possible. The culprit was not tired. No taunt and I win. All right, who's ready for a final boss? We're going 12? Yeah, we did get a very good draw there, worried. But I don't know, not as in I'm losing. I don't know as in what's the best I can do. Oh, 
This is it. Yeah, we might have a YouTube one here, huh? Might have a YouTuber. I did a priest go 12, uh, which I put up on YouTube yesterday, but it was different. This is more DK, right? Chris coming in with a 30 months prime and will charge back if I don't win. Ouch. Hey, thank you for the 30 months, Crisp. Much appreciated, man. So much freaking support. So the reason I prefer the peasant is it debates a ping. And buffing the crab right in the 2-5 doesn't really deal with 2-3s very well. Yeah, so Warrior Rogue was... The Warrior Rogue I played was actually really low on, low on the curve then, huh? I think we do this here. See if I get smite or mines here. Theft is the worst. This card is literally useless, right? Crap. <laughs> I think we trade and hope this goes face and then trade in Malignant, right? The I, uh, I hate to break it to you, Gary, but I, I won't call it Munch on these nameless ones with a clear conscience. That being said, the chat will show up on YouTube. Partner kind with Ascendant on board, what triggers first? If the Ascendant is already on board, the Ascendant. Things that are in the same part of the turn for Hearthstone, so Death Rattles, Reborns, end of turn effects, they will. they should trigger on uh, Summon Order. Right? The difference is when they're different things, like a Death Rattle and a Reborn, they're different, so they have different order of operations. What I really, 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 really need is my location, I think, but... I feel like I should pace myself here. I'm not sure I'm a big fan, but if I play everything and they flame strike, I'm dead. I still feel like I've lost. Hey, Kronos. Not looking good. This is uh, not looking good. Is that the third one. We must band together, united for Dalora. For your entertainment. Hold me, I dare you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, that's the plan, Ted. I could silence their taunt and sidekick hero power. You know what would punish me here? Arcane Defenders. There we go, big papa. And this is the mother frippin' grippin' Cooping, swooping, combo, baby! Shwoop, what a combo! Ain't no way he did it! It mattered! I get to keep Crisp's money! Man, Zlatan! Go in my black book now, huh? Good game. I mean, that deck was really good, right? Like, oh, what can you say? You play uh, strong classes this meta, and uh, they can dominate. I think this deck actually had surprising amounts of that early game smart. Like, obviously it had the, the, the insane OP package, right? Cathedral, double malignant, double partner. Um, but I honestly think that how strong that early game push was with the double ascendant, peasant, harbinger to find me remorseless for support and cycle and crab right there did a lot of work. And then into these, right? Into those. Yeah, the deck was just all around pretty strong, I would say. Low curve, just enough cycle, strong cards. Crab Rider did quite a lot of work in those last few games, honestly. Key drop decisions, Mermi. Over the six drop. Yeah, Mermi did a lot of work. Clear conscience over malignant. Clear conscience over malignant horror. Now that's a Chad draft decision. Alright, let's take a look at the rewards. Honestly, really cool to see that nameless one combo there at the end as well. Yeah, a good corpse generator KFK for the games where I depend a little more on malignant. I mean, I think this is a good one for YouTube. I know I've already uploaded a priest, uh, but that priest was more like card steal and uh, focus on the mage location. This one's more on the uh, board buffs, the cathedral, the partners, and the malignants um, with the clear conscience. And it showcased the swings between early game tempo into setups of those uh, boards that end the games. A very good one. I hope you enjoyed it. A um, uh, few more weeks of this meta here, so I'll try and get some a mix of runs your way anyway. But if you're enjoying these kind of things, always support the channel in some way if you can. I think a lot of people forget, but it does help a lot on YouTube to just engage with the content. It's kind of the way it works. The more people watch in full and engage with the content, the more YouTube recommends the video to other people who will then hopefully do the same. If, if, if again, it's, it's something you're enjoying, yeah.